happy Thursday. Week is flying by once again. Oh my gosh, crazy. Anyways, I'm going to the gym, obviously, like I always do. I was this close. I'm not even kidding you. This close. Just sleeping in this morning. I don't know what has been with me just like specifically this week, but me and Joel are both saying that it's been like extra, extra hard to wake up this specific week. Something's in the air, something's in the moon, but it's literally been difficult and I was just this close to telling Joel like go to the gym without me because I am really loving my bed right now but the determination kicked in and I'm reading the 5am club right now as you guys know I'm actually more than halfway through now like I only have that much left but his voice was in my head and he was like own your morning elevate your life own your morning elevate your life and then also he talked about discipline how this is like such a good thing you could do to work on your discipline and i'm like oh my god like this isn't actually inspiring me like i'm gonna get up you know so books do work like motivational things do work so this actually helped me out today which is good um i'm good i'm just a bit extra tired today which i don't know why because i did go to bed like right at 9 15 last night which was actually pretty good and i still am tired but also i woke up like four i would probably say cumulatively like half an hour maybe even more in the in the night because both of the girls were sleeping with me both of them were like in my arm and i just couldn't stop petting them because they're so cute and i couldn't sleep because of that because i just you know they were there and i wanted to pet them so that kind of led me to not fully being able to sleep properly because they're so cute and i'm like oh my gosh you're so freaking cute how can i like not catch you right now so anyways that was the gist of last night and this morning and maybe that's why i'm extra tired because i was up petting them at like 3 a.m for a bit and it was just i don't know hard for me to fall asleep now that i think of it though i was having some weird dreams i can't remember specifically what but they were weird i remember that as a fact for sure and like i said whenever i have weird dreams it just doesn't i feel like my sleep isn't as good anyways okay i'm gonna get my shoes on and go to and then we'll go to the gym my outfit today is literally all from maritzia i'm just wearing shorts with um sports bra underneath in this tank i love this one so much it's giving pilates and i love it so let's go work out good morning girls <laughs> chasing your tail I already dug into my little breakfast before I showed you guys, but I just cut up some sausages, doused them in maple syrup, as you guys know I love doing, and then I have a little yogurt bowl here with peanut butter, granola, and some chocolate chips, and it's so good. So this is my little quick, easy breakfast. A lot of protein and very filling. You guys know I love easy breakfasts. So gonna eat and then gonna go shower. Hey guys, so it is a bit later on in the day now. All morning I have just been, like I showered after the gym and I have just been working to get my video scheduled for today. Kind of last minute, but I really wanted to get it up today since I've been posting Sundays and then either Wednesdays or Thursdays, just whenever I get to finish my video, but ideally it'd be Wednesday. I wanna like just be prepared with my editing more because I am going away this weekend for one of my best friend's birthday. She lives on the island. So if you guys don't know, Vancouver has an island. It's called Vancouver Island. I'm gonna be taking the ferry there on Saturday and then staying overnight and then coming back Sunday because we're gonna go out and she's having a couple friends over. So I will not have time really to edit on the weekend because then that Sunday night we're going out with Joel's family for dinner. So I kind of have a busy weekend, which is super rare for me because usually my weekends are very chill. 
and then monday i'm actually on set because i am getting back into not really fully kind of half getting back into background acting if you guys didn't know vancouver's film industry is like huge and it's a job that you can do here so i'm actually a union member because i have worked as a background actor for about a year and i earned the credits to become in the union anyways i stopped doing that about a year ago because i just didn't need the money anymore and i wanted to focus more on my youtube again now Madison, my younger sister, she is wanting to do background acting just as like a side thing because she bakes cakes But she just wants to do to earn a bit of extra money So I had the idea and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if we tell our agency like hey if you could book us together Like I would love to go just for more so for fun Because it is super fun to do and the pay is good I mean I get benefits within the union like dental benefits and I care benefits if I work so me working gives me benefits so I'm like you know what it would be good to kind of maybe work here and there just do it for fun kind of so we're going on set on Monday I have a very busy weekend also leading into Monday where I won't be able to do editing so I really need to make sure that I get everything done before the weekend so I'm probably going to just edit through the night tonight like until I go to bed so that I can make sure that I have everything done because I, I know myself and I will leave everything for the last minute if I don't make a point of doing it so just got my video scheduled I just got ready for the day and we're actually just about to go out because we are taking the girls we're taking to be and be new to the vet to get their second round of kitten vaccinations I'm kind of nervous because the first time that they got them they didn't react well to them as you guys already know and so oh it's just I don't know what to do we're gonna talk to the doctor there and see what they recommend but we've already kind of left a gap in between you know when they got sick till now so hopefully it'll be okay but oh i'm just worried for them also i know to be specifically is going to hate going to the vet because she is very standoffish and she does not like new environments or new people like she's a shy girl i just feel so bad at least they're together is like the thing that's putting my mind at ease like in the pet carrier they're going to be together so it's not like they're going to be you know alone but it's just making me a bit nervous but it'll be fine it'll be fine so we're gonna go do that the appointment's at 3 it's like 2 30 right now so we're gonna be heading out of the house soon get that done come back and then i'm just gonna oh she's standing on the carrier she's like do not take me to the vet i'm sorry girl i'm sorry so i'm gonna come back home and then edit for the rest of the day probably i don't even know what we're gonna do for dinner but that's just gonna be a rummage up and then tomorrow for sure i need to go grocery shopping so that's kind of the plan for the week slash weekend today's just a pretty gloomy day so nothing like a very exciting happening anyways okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 2.45, oh shoot. Okay, we got the girls locked and loaded. I feel so horrible. Right now they both fit in one carrier, so it's fine, but we're gonna need to get two eventually. Oh my God, are you trying to dig yourself out, girl? Sorry, that's not gonna happen. I feel so guilty. I feel so, oh, I can't no. do this. Stop it, I, this, is this is making is my heart so, no. I'm so sorry, Miss Miss Girl, I'm so sorry. Is that Tupi? No, that's Binu. Tupi's trying to dig her way out. <laughs> I just can't, guys. My heart is hurting right now. I just hate this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my love. Oh, oh I'm sorry, babies. Just got home from the grocery store here's a little haul so we haven't bought pickles in a while so i wanted to try these mcclure's pickles because i wish we had grillos in canada but unfortunately we don't um got some bubbly water this is like my favorite plant-based yogurt because it has such good ingredients and it's just basically coconut milk into yogurt there's nothing bad in here no added sugar or anything and then i got two avocados some milk i got a asian pear um, some teriyaki sauce just to have in the fridge and these actually recently got introduced to Canada poppy So obviously I had to buy two cans. I got the cola and then the orange got some bananas because I have been obsessed with the ninja creamy I'll show you guys what I do with it um, later. I got some blueberries. I didn't really have much good fruit today So I didn't get much. Um, I got zevias. I got chicken wings and then some chicken cordon blues for dinner tonight beef bone broth cottage cheese salami chips salad and then some burritos but that's about it just to hold us over for the week 
weekend and the beginning of next week and then also like the end of this week as well but so happy we just got that done we're gonna do pickle taste test these as i showed you are the mcclurs from brooklyn detroit never heard of this brand but i'm done with buying the bit or i've never bought them but i used to have them in my house the bix pickles they have so many additives in them that doesn't need to be there and i feel like they're like the fakest pickle brand but these are more like the ingredients are super clean super good so let's give them a taste oh they're big oh my gosh they're big well let me take a bite and then you can have the rest because i don't want to ruin my appetite Okay. They're, mushy though. they're really good, but they're not crunchy. They don't give a crunch at all. Like nothing. That's the best tasting pickle I've ever had. Yeah. But not crunchy. No, what's with the do you think it's just that one? Should we get another one? Let's get a smaller one. Better be crunchy. That's like half of what makes a pickle good. They're cold to be better. Best tasting but not crunch. Hmm. You think it's because they're not in the fridge? I don't think that would play really a factor. They're so garlicky and good. Oh my god, that's the best taste of pickle though. Yeah, they're really it good. makes me forget about the crunch. But they need a crunch. What's with the no crunch? We'll if they see. had a crunch, that's the number one pickle ever. Yeah, we'll see it, what the fridge does to them, but 10 out of 10 if they had a crunch. So that's our little pickle review. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't already know, Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you guys are just starting out and trying to create a business and a brand or whether you're already running a successful business, Squarespace is the perfect place to make your website and to create a beautiful aesthetic website and engage with your audience and sell literally anything from products to content to time. You could start a completely personalized website with their new guided design system, Squarespace Blue print you could choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up tailored to your brand or your business and optimized for every device you can also easily launch your website and get discovered fast with their integrated and optimized seo tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want they also have a super flexible payment so you can make your checkout system super seamless for your customers accept anything from credit cards to paypal apple pay and also offer your customers the option to buy now and pay later they also save you so so much time too because they make it super easy to manage your clients and invoices from vetting leads to receiving payments all in one streamlined customizable workflow so if you guys want to check them out you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com slash michaela bento to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain I feel good getting into a new week. I actually am excited to get into it. Nothing feels like being in my routine. Like absolutely nothing. I love the weekends. I love sleeping in. I love doing fun things and nothing combined. But at the same time, nothing makes me feel as good as my routine. Like waking up, going to the gym, reading, etc. It just makes me feel so good. And it really does set my day up for success. Like on the weekends, sometimes I could feel a bit disheveled because I don't really force myself to have a routine. So I just do whatever. And that kind of doesn't always make me feel as good as like being structured and having a routine. So I'm excited to get back into it, but everything in life is about balance at the end of the day. So anyways, so I haven't honestly been having as good of sleeps lately because of our kittens, Tupi and Binu, and our bed. So we have a queen size bed and it's been good like it's been okay for us for the past ever since we've lived together but with them in the bed with us they like to sleep like with us near our head because they want to be close to us if i'm sleeping on my side they'll both sleep like right on my back because they want to be like right up against me then it like puts a worry in my head that i'm gonna like turn over and crush them so then my brain doesn't let me sleep and then if i do fall asleep i'm like always waking up every like half an hour because i want to check where they are and it's like mostly a subconscious thing where my brain it's like knows that they're in the bed with us so then it won't let me sleep properly having a bigger bed in general is not a bad thing i think i definitely think we could fit it in our room yeah i feel like that might just have to be the solution to this because they are only getting bigger like they are not getting smaller so they are the smallest they're going to be right now and there's already issues and 
this when they get older they maybe they're not gonna want to sleep with us i don't know anyways okay i gotta get going get ready for the gym so let's get this morning started just about to leave for the gym my leggings are just from aritzia and then got my new balances on then i'm just wearing this long sleeve today because i just felt like being covered and this is from Aritzia as well. Jacket Princess Polly. Ha, <laughs> Aritzia. Literally my whole outfit is basically Aritzia. But anyways, I'm going to head to the gym now. I'll see you guys there. Just wanted to show you my outfit. I just did my makeup for the day and I am gonna just get changed now. I had a shower, but yeah, I just kind of got myself ready for the day. I'm going to a nail appointment with Madison. We're trying out a new nail salon today and I'm actually really excited. I think I'm just gonna get white French tip. I'm just feeling like plain. I'm also gonna get them a lot shorter because these are like my real nails. Like I didn't get tips on them and they've just grown out so much. Like it's still acrylic, but I am just feeling a classic white French tip and that's what we're gonna do yes we were trying a new nail salon because when i told you guys that we paid 100 bucks for a fail everybody was gasped jaw dropped to the floor so we are indeed trying a new place today and i will keep you guys updated they said that their fills were 55 dollars i'm pretty sure so there you go but we'll see how good it is you know what i mean so yesterday <clears throat> i was on set i was actually on set with madison i feel like i just haven't talked to you guys in so long because i was also on the island this weekend for one of my best friend's birthday and it, i've just been like go 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 this whole weekend and i feel like i just have been running a marathon because <laughs> I haven't really had like a day to just relax and just do nothing, which you guys know I love just having that one day a week where I can just do whatever and relax, rot basically, and I just haven't had that this weekend, which is okay, like I'm fine with, you know, missing that for an occasion. I just have been feeling like, like a little hamster on a treadmill, which is kind of nice because it does put me in a real good flow of things, but I am pretty tired. I feel a lot rejuvenated today though. Yesterday was a really fun day on set with Madison. We, yeah, we worked for 11 and a half hours, almost 12, and it was a really fun time. It was good being back doing background acting because I haven't done it in a year and a half. So it was really fun being back, especially doing it with her. And the paycheck is pretty good, not gonna lie, especially with the overtime hours. So I'm really fortunate to be in a position where I can choose to do that or not because I used to do that for income. But now it's like, I, did, I don't have to do it because YouTube provides for me full time. It's just more fun to be like, okay, I'm doing this because I wanna be doing this. And so I'm very fortunate to be in a union and everything. But we were on a show and the director was like a famous person that we'd seen like in multiple shows And we're like, why does she look so familiar? People were talking about it on set and they're like, oh my god She's from this show and I'm like, oh my gosh That makes so much sense because we just couldn't put our finger on it Because she was just like, you know wearing normal clothes and a hat and we just like didn't fully recognize her But we were like, wow, like that is so sick that she's like right here So that's really cool about like background acting and stuff. You get to meet a lot of famous people Yeah, it's just super cool the behind the scenes of movies and shows film and it's like nothing like you would think The final product turns out and it's like behind the scenes. It's just so chaotic and I don't even know It's an experience for sure, but it's super interesting and I've always loved filmmaking Like when I was younger, I would make movies like I would force my sister and my friends to be in movies with me and i would like come up with a script i would come up with an idea i would edit it and put it all together and i've always like that's where why i even have a youtube channel because i've just been obsessed with these like types of things since i was younger like i was literally eight years old doing this and i would ask for a camera every christmas and yeah so i don't know i've just always loved like filmmaking and behind the scenes and how the camera works. Yeah, I would love to make my own little short film one day. But anyway, so that was fun yesterday. Now it's a brand new week. So I just didn't film all weekend, obviously, because I was busy. I didn't really want to film on my friend's birthday because stuff like that, I really like to keep to myself. Like I'll film things here and there, maybe when it comes to friends or family. But in general, I just don't really like putting 
all my life online and i've had a few comments before where you guys are like oh i'd love if you would show a weekend vlog or whatever but i also like need to have a balance where i don't show certain things and just have that balance where i'm not filming every single day so that's why i don't really do weekend vlogs i mean maybe one day i will but yeah i just like to keep some things in my life private it's not like i'm trying to hide anything but i don't know i just like having also a very personal life on the side of this and just having balance with things like i feel like i do share a lot online but obviously i'm not going to share every single thing that happens in my life that's private so that's why you can't really say like when you see something like a an hour video of someone's life or even a 30 minute video 20 minute video whatever it is you can't really judge because you don't really know what goes on behind the scenes and actually and what's going on in their life and so that's why you should never judge a book by its cover you know I'm not saying i'm like hiding like I'm, I'm not a different person like if you were to meet me in real life i feel like i'd be the exact same like I'm not I don't put on an act for the camera but I do have like some things in my life that are obviously private and I just like to keep for myself like when I hang out with friends and stuff usually I'm just like unless I'm filming like during a week of vlog or something I just like to kind of be in the moment and be present and not feel like I have to film everything in my life because that's also important too is having balance so anyways Madison's gonna be here soon because we're going to get our nails done like I already said but I will catch up with you guys when we're on the way because I'm just gonna get changed quickly she's gonna be here soon and I'll be out of the house so I'll talk to you guys in a bit our nails done i have been editing all day because i needed to catch up on some things since i was on set yesterday and i was busy the whole weekend so i definitely had some catching up to do after i came back from our nail appointment i was basically just editing the whole day now i just kind of want to clean up the house a bit because everything is a mess i have my bag packed from when i went to the island and then i also have the bag i packed for yesterday and so I just wanted to put everything away and organize my room and just make everything clean for the beginning of the week. Because I hate, like, I actually hate when things are a mess. I can't function properly and it just irks me. It just makes me feel disgusting. But I just got into my little pajamas lounge door set just to end off the evening and get things cleaned around here. I am obsessed with my nails. They did such a good job at the new place. Um, I actually love it so much. They are so much shorter now and they're just the perfect shape. And yeah, I'm obsessed with them. I just missed a good white French tip moment and I'm so glad I got them. And they're so much easier to like type and stuff now and use my computer now that they're shorter. So I think I'm gonna keep them around this length because there's no point of them being any longer. I don't really like when they get too long. I think I just didn't really notice how long they were getting and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, these are really long. So they're like the perfect length right now. Just like, especially when they grow out, they're gonna even get longer so that's okay but anyway so we did end up going to winners after a nail appointment and i got a couple of things that i wanted to give you guys a bit of a haul because who doesn't like a winner's haul so madison and i kind of got matching bags like tote bags this one came in there was only literally two left and there was a blue and like a cream color beigey so i opted for the blue she got the beige but we both liked each color so i was like you know what in a few months we can literally switch because i get bored anyways of colors and stuff so i'm like we can always just switch back and forth to switch it up yeah it was only 30 or 40 dollars which is super cheap for like a nice big tote bag like this it has a zipper Sorry, the cats are like playing over there. Since I'm doing background acting again, I need like a nice good size tote bag because you need to pack a bag when you go on set. So I just don't have a tote bag that has a zipper and I like having all my things contained with a zipper because I hate having like an open bag and potentially things can fall out and I wouldn't know, you know? So I hate that, I'd rather have a zipper. So this has a nice zipper and it's just like the perfect size, not too big, not too small. And also I could take it traveling because there's like a luggage thing. So she can be used for many, many uses. And I don't know, I just really loved the blue color. So she's cute, fun. And, and it also comes with a little pouch, which is super cute. You can never have too many of these. Like I'm always constantly using a pouch like this for something. So that is nice. Just on her back, put her arm around her neck and like choke her. They literally are doing judo. So first thing I got from Winners is this Boar Bristle Brush. I already have like one of these that I used to sleek back my hair. But the problem is, is I kind of want one of these brushes in like every single spot because I like to take it with me when I'm wearing a sleep bag. And so the one that I have, I always bring it with me everywhere, but it'd be nice if I could just keep it stationary in my bathroom 
bathroom and then take this one with me. I would love to pop it in my gym bag or my purse and this could be like my to-go bristle brush if I ever need to touch up my hair. It was only like five bucks, so perfect. I don't know why she wrapped this, but that's fine. <laughs> I got a body wash because we ran out of body wash. I just wanted to try a new brand I found at Winners and it smells pretty good. It's a blend of coconut and vanilla. Just simple, cute body wash. I thought this was pretty aesthetic. I was gonna stop at Shoppers. I was also cruelty free. I was gonna stop at Shoppers, but I was like, we're at Winners. Like they're gonna have everything I need at Winners anyways. So I got this cute body wash. Hopefully this lasts us a while. And yeah, it's from the brand Ashy Modern. So I don't know if she's on Amazon or anything, but she smells really good. And then another thing I was gonna get from Shoppers are flossers, but I found them at Winners. These are just eco floss picks that are made with recycled materials. So I feel a little bit better about using so much plastic while flossing, but I don't floss unless I use these. Like these are a must for my flossing. I will not use the roll, it's just won't be done. These just make it actually convenient and make me actually floss. So they came, they come with 200. And then last thing that I got, I couldn't pass this up guys. At Winners, they purposefully put stuff in the checkout aisle so that you browse while you're waiting. And they always get me. Like, I don't think there's been one time where they haven't gotten me there. So they're really smart for putting mugs there because who doesn't want a cute mug? I'm always like on the hunt for mugs. I just love them. And especially like for different seasons. And I don't really have many summer mugs, okay? So when we saw this, we couldn't pass it up. Madison and I both got one. A strawberry mug. Like, you have to be kidding me. A strawberry mug. It is just so cute, so summer, and just the best thing ever. Like, how can you not buy this? Yeah, $7.99, what a steal. How cute is she having matcha in here, having coffee in here? So cute for the summer. Like, I bet you can imagine me drinking something out of here. Tea. Anyways, so yeah, that is a haul. That's the haul. I am just drinking a kombucha right now, but I'm gonna start, like I said, cleaning around and just like unwinding for the night. I washed the bed sheets today, so I'm gonna actually go help Joel make the bed right now and just do some cleaning. So talk to you guys in a bit. It actually ended up being a really nice day today because at the beginning of the day, it was kind of gloomy and windy, super, super windy. But now the sun has come out. The weather has been so bipolar lately, but it's supposed to be really, really nice this upcoming week, which thank God, because the weather was not treating us good these past couple weeks. So I'm gonna be looking more like June. Oh my gosh, also happy June. I didn't even think of that. It is the first few days of the month. So happy June guys. We're so excited for summer over here. Um, I can't wait to do like a summer morning routine, summer reset, all that fun stuff gonna be coming soon. Get excited for all the summer videos. Let me know what kind of summer videos you guys wanna see in the comments too. If you have any ideas or specific suggestions. Okay, I'm gonna go clean. Sorry, I literally didn't show anything. I was just hyper focused and sometimes I want to get stuff done without filming it because for some reason when I'm filming things, it takes me like 20 times longer to do them. I don't know why that is, but it just is. And if you guys film vlogs, you would know what I mean. But I just wanted to really just get my life sorted <laughs> because I just feel like it's already the middle of the week. I need to have my shit together a bit more because I unpack my bags, I kind of clean my room up, I change the bed sheets and clean the kitchen. It just, everything just feels a million times better. I still have like big things that I want to get done for the new season, like for summer. I want to, you know, I'll probably actually do this in my summer reset video, but I want to clean up my garage and just do like the nitty gritty stuff of the house that I've been putting off, which would be perfect for like a whole season reset. So stay tuned for that. Oh, oh my gosh. Also a closet clean out. I need to do that for my summer reset video and I will be doing that because my closet, like my clothes, I just need to reorganize and look through them because that hasn't been done like since I moved in. And it's just at that point now where it's like just so bad and I need to get rid of clothes. I need to just like take everything out and just reorganize everything honestly, which will be coming out probably the day that summer starts or around that time. But anyways, guys, I am going to go to bed now. It's almost nine o'clock. It's like five to nine. So I'm going to go like wash my face, brush my teeth and go straight to bed so I can get a good sleep but i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video sorry it was kind of all over the place um this is kind of just like a busy weekend for me things are just have been like all over the place for me in my head but i feel like i'm just like regrouping recentering now so this week's vlogs will be definitely more organized so don't worry about that because tomorrow i'm gonna film a whole day in my life and then i'm gonna film another vlog thursday and friday i am pumping out the vlogs guys for june we're getting two a week get 
excited put your post notifications on subscribe <laughs> and yeah give this video a like if you want to see more videos from me i will see you guys in my next video i love you all so much and i hope you have an amazing week day night month happy freaking june love you guys